Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am finally back to do a video and I have a few questions that were asked to me on social media about how it is working as a coach employee. And I'm going to be answering these and showing you bags that I had purchased while I've been working with coach. And yeah, I'm gonna hopefully, this is not gonna be a five hour long video, but I do have a few bags to show. Ooh, excuse me a few bags to show so let's get started with the questions and then I'll show you the first bag so the first question is are you allowed to give your employee discount to your customers um, I am NOT allowed to give my employee discount to my customers I do I am only allowed to get my employee discount if I'm using my like my credit card so like say my husband wanted to buy me a purse and I was gonna use his credit card, that's not accepted. It has to be like under my name. So like, if the transaction's for my employee sale, it would be Georgina. And then on my card would have to say Georgina, my last name, in order for the transaction to go through. So unfortunately, we're not able to give it to customers. I wish we would because we get eight bags for seasonal and 10 bags for full-time employees. And I know not everybody, I shop like that, but I know not all of the employees shop like that. So it would be nice to, you know, share the wealth. But unfortunately we're not. Hopefully that changes in the future though. Next question. Am I allowed to buy coach from other stores like department stores? Um, I am allowed to buy from other stores, but because I get my discount, it's kind of silly for me to buy from other stores because I can get bags like all these bags which these are the first two bags I purchased with my coach discount but it'd be silly for me to use my coach discount not to use my coach discount on bags that I can get at the coach store um, if it's like a bag that's only been sold at like Dillard's then I'll go buy it from Dillard's but there's no like regulation saying that we can't shop at other discount stores or stuff like that. And another question is, do you know when the SS23 handbags will be released? Uh, I actually do not know. I'm not really privy to knowledge like that. Um, I wish I was, but just because I'm a seasonal, I am not in, I'm like, that's, mm, how do I say it? That's the door on that side, and I'm like right here. It's like, this is y'all, this is me, that's the door. So I'm not fully in the door. I'm just like, my toes are peeking in, listening to whatever I can and spying for us. But, I don't know, <laughs> all in all, sorry about that. Next two bags that I purchased were a Revel and a Rogue. I got the plaid edition, they're so cute. I actually ended up getting 50% off of these and 65% off of these. And I'll explain why I got 65% off later. Well, I guess I'll do it right now. Um, I got 65% off because Coach is doing a, well, was doing like a seasonal discounted section thing where for the month of December, they did 65% off of selected handbags. So like brand new stuff wasn't on that discount, but older stuff like the Ruby and the Revel were allowed to get discounted to 65% and that lasted until Christmas. So I had from, December 1st till Christmas to do any type of shopping like that. So yeah, that's why I got 65% off of those. Next question, per employee, how many, how much or how many bags are they expected to sell day, week, and month? Um. I don't have, I personally don't have a like expected time frame or like amount of bags that I need to 
sell for a month or day or week. Well, actually that's a lie. I do. So on the chart, mine is very low because I'm a seasonal worker. So say I'm supposed to sell nine transactions in that day. If I do more than nine, then that listed number will go up. So say I walk in in the morning and my amount of transactions that I need to complete is nine. If I get to nine by the middle of my shift, it'll go up to 15. And then if I get to 15 by the middle of my, sh my next 30 minutes of my shift, then a number will go up to like 18 or 20. So it just depends on how much you sell that day. As long as you meet that bottom number, you should be good. Um, there's also things like percentages of, like if we sell you or me, like say I walk in and I want a wallet and a handbag, that looks good for us because we're selling two things to you rather than just one. So if you walk in and you want something and they offer you uh, to buy like a hang tag or a wallet, just know that they just are doing it because it looks better for them to sell one more more transit more in the transaction looks better on each seller so but like yeah seller so yeah when is the coach cassie coming back is there any hope of it coming back um i really wish i knew this we were talking about this the other day at work and how much the Cassie was such an iconic bag because it, for one, resembled a bag just like these two bags resembled a bag in the Louis Vuitton chapter. But I actually don't know if it's coming back. I know that we still have the Cassie 19, which is nice, but I, I just really don't know if we're gonna get the regular Cassie back. So I'm sorry about that. I wish I knew. I wish I was privy to stuff like that. Maybe when, if I keep doing seasonal and, or I get out of the military and I do this full time and I can start going on the vacations and trips that they send their employees on and they learn all this crazy, amazing stuff, then I will let you know. But until then, my dream is to visit Soho, New York Soho the coach store and I really want to meet Brandon and Big Apple Rexy, Big Apple Rexy, yeah, Videl, Videl Wilson, I think is his name. I really want to meet them because they're like the coach influencers of the party. So I already met Shelby. Shelby's an influencer and she works with me. So I already know somebody famous. But yeah, um, what's another bag I can show you? I think, did I show you this one? Ooh, this is another bag I picked up. I got this one for free. Coach was doing a, I got that one and this one for free. I love the rhinestones on it. They just look so cute. But Coach was doing a 10 day challenge for each, every employee that worked at Coach. Um, for 10 days, whoever got the most sales in each day got a $500 card off. So I won two days and somebody else won four days, somebody else won three days, like so on and so forth. And yeah, that's how I got some free bags from Coach. So they take care of their employees, I'm telling you. If you ever wanna work for Coach, do it seasonally so you can get your foot in the door and I'm telling you, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. Sorry if you can hear that, that's my husband. Anyways, there's a few questions in this one. Um, the first one is, are there any days you don't make a sale? Um, thankfully, I have some really amazing like managers that make sure that if I'm having a bad day doing sales, they'll like pass a sale on to me. So like, say you walk into the store and the first person you talk to is my manager. If my manager is like, I feel like if you have a good manager, they will acknowledge the person, talk to them, see what they're looking for, and then say, hey, well, this is my associate Georgina and she can help you out with this and pass the transaction on because managers are 
there's more leeway with like how many things they need to sell compared to like seasonal or full timers. So if you have a good store manager or like store lead, that's how you know because they pass on their stuff and they're not stingy. So yeah, I, that's a shout out to Sydney because Sydney always, 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 always make sure that I'm doing good and passes the sales on to me or anybody else that she's working with. So I respect it and I appreciate it. Next question, are you dinged for returns? Yes, yes we are dinged for returns. If you go and buy something from Coach and in a week from now you decide that you didn't really like it and you return it, that person ends up in the hole. So say you bought it from me, you go, don't like it, come back and return it. When I walk into work the next day, I'm negative because I need to make up for the money that I just made the store gain back. So like everybody starts at zero. So I would be at negative because of this, the sale coming back to us. So I would have to make up that portion to get back into zero and then work my way up there for the rest of the shift. So they do get dinged. If you want to return something, that's totally fine. But I would recommend at least exchanging it for something else, especially like if you love coach, then you're going to find something else that you like in the store anyways. I'm a big, <sighs> I was a big, big returner. I returned everything. I don't know why. If I didn't really like it, then I would return it. But I would always pick something else that was new. So say for example, um, this is another bag that I just recently got. I had this in white and black. I returned both of them because I'm a crazy crackhead. I love this bag. I'm gonna end up getting them in black and white eventually. But I returned it because I just didn't think that it fit my style at the moment. And look, I'm getting distracted, but look at how cute this hang tag is. They made it for me, it was so cute. But I returned it. And now I know why Taylor would push so hard for me to buy something else so that it didn't hurt affect his record which I appreciate because I don't want to hurt somebody unintentionally you know what I mean as like people purchasing you don't want to go into the store and affect your the employees because you love them like coach employees are so nice and sweet so you don't want to like make a bad name for yourself in the store if that makes sense so just don't be an avid returner and you should be fine Next one, preference in retail versus outlet. I definitely 100% prefer retail. Um, I kind of said something in one of my videos where to the extent of like, I won't buy from retail or from outlet, but I 100% will because I have bought from outlet. Um, I don't know where it is right now. Oh, I bought this little thing because I'm a Halloween baby and I really liked the ghosty, but I don't think I'll ever buy like a purse from there and that's only because the quality to me, my opinion, the quality is not as, it's it's not there. It's not the quality of a rogue, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I would only buy from like the coach outlet, the, that section that they put all the retail stuff in. You know what I'm talking about, yeah. We know what I'm talking about. But anyways, uh, what other bag did I get? I, I'm down to my last two. So I actually bought this one. This was one of, this was the first bag I bought from Coach. And this bag I bought while I was asking <laughs> if they were hiring. So I ended up snagging this one before it sold out and i got it pretty much to be like hey ha, 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 i'm here to shop but i'm also here to ask if you're hiring let me swipe my card tell me yes please so yeah i don't know next question what are slow sale days low traffic days like for you they're very boring they're very very boring um this only happened to me my slowest day was sunday 
and it was the day after New Year's, so it was definitely slow because everybody's hungover, everybody's trying to watch whatever football games are out on Sunday, and I, I didn't enjoy it. It's not bad, it, it's not like, I just enjoy the interactions with customers. I enjoy talking to people, so for there no, to be nobody coming in, even to this talk sucked. So I did not, I don't, I, I don't like that. Cleaning and storage advice for your coach handbags. I have the cleaning kit that coach sells. It looks like this and it comes with like a shampoo, a moisturizer and a cleanser. And it comes in this little box and this is what I use. Say I use this bag for like a week, which right now I'm in my Cassie 19. So when I'm done using my Cassie 19, I will clean it, clean it off because it's chalk. Clean it off, moisturize it, make sure that it feels nice and soft. And then I'll put it back into my doors, my little drawer collection thing. Um, I recommend this storage section thing as the best storage. If you don't have money to buy like shelves and doors for the shelves, then honestly just putting them in the dust bag and tightening the dust bag up and putting it on like a shelf, like a flat shelf. Don't put it on one that's like a rail, if that makes sense. Because the railing, if it's like soft leather, will leave prints on the bottom of your bags. So put it on like a straight flat surface and you can store it in your closet and anywhere in your house. I wouldn't put it in the garage or in like storage bins, but I would put it anywhere in your house in like a closet. Or if you have money, then you can buy this, something like this from Ikea. I think I paid $250 for one. That's like, cause the doors are separate. So like I paid, I want to say like 150 for the shelving unit. And then for the doors, it was separate and it turned out to like 250, something like that. So it's definitely not cheap, but it, 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 it's worth the money if you have a collection like mine. Next question, dust bag or no dust bag for storage? Um, I personally don't do dust bag because I want to look at my purses and I have doors to cover it and I have cats. So the doors protect it from like dust and cat hair and all that stuff which is not doing a great job right now because it's open. But I do not prefer dust bags when storing like this, but I do prefer them when storing them in like a closet or something. So it just depends on how you store them. Next question, it's tips for scrapes and scuffs. Honestly, shout out to you, Portia Youngblood, because you were asking the questions. You wanted to know the tea and I'm here to give you the tea. So. For scratches and scuffs, the best thing I can tell you is to just try to cleanse and moisturize that area as much as possible. Um, the cleanser is not gonna do much, but the moisturizer is gonna like smooth it out and try to get that roughness out of there. That's what coach employees do when they're like dealing with somebody that comes in with a scuff on their bag. They pretty much just moisturize and try to like smooth the leather out as much as possible, but that's pretty much this kit, this kit is gonna save your life. So it's only $30 to get, and it's lasted me over a year with as many bags as I have. So I recommend getting this kit. This actually reminds me that I have something else that I bought from Coach. And it is the Rexy, look, look at how cute. I bought the little planner, but I think it's gonna cancel on me because you know, when coach is like, oh, your order's taking longer than expected, that usually means that it's getting canceled, you freaking heifer. So we'll see. We'll see if it cancels my order or what. But next question, when is Rambler 16 coming back? Please, I need one, LOL. Um, I actually don't know when the Rambler is going, going to come back. A lot of these questions are like, for the creative director, like we need to spam him in one of the vlogs just asking for these bags back because he needs to know 
that we love these bags so I'm sorry but I don't know I'm not this is the door this is my little feet peeking into the door that's it that's all I got is my toes in so I'm so sorry about that but that's the end I have no more questions um I'm so happy I did this video I was very nervous to start videos back up again because I'm a weenie and I get worried that nobody wants to listen to what I have to say but there's like 200 of you that care and that's all that matters and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh and by the way like comment subscribe if you really like this video leave something down below letting me know that you like this video and I will do another one soon. Bye!